right now. Three tigers dead and now Day City's Wild Thing Zoo under fire. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski has that story for us. Dade City Wild Things has allowed us on property a number of times for positive stories. Excuse me, are we allowed to come out today? But not today. PETA has a serious issue with paying customers swimming with baby tigers. Which are the beginning of a lifetime of cruelty for the baby tigers who are stolen from their mothers shortly after birth just to be passed around for creepy photo ops and tossed into a swimming pool from which they cannot escape. The amended PETA complaint alleges Dade City's Wild Things shipped a group of tigers across the country during which three tiger cubs died. PETA knows that if their allegations were heard on the merits that they would lose under the law and under the facts of this case. So instead, they're using their PR machine to demonize wild things. Gus Centrone is the Tampa attorney representing wild things and believes this is nothing more than a PETA witch hunt. These are people who are passionate about big cats in general and take wonderful care of these animals. And PETA has chosen them as a target and has beat them up on multiple fronts, uh, including in federal court and state court. And it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It's getting it's getting absurd. But that's not a zoo. That's 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 animal cruelty. Laura Hodge lives across the street from the facility, and isn't so sure. But there's no habitat. You know, if you go to Bush Gardens, there's a habitat. There, they, there, there's nothing. They live in a cage. Centrone adds nothing that PETA is alleging has been proven in a court of law. In Pasco County, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.